Hello fellow YouTubers, I'm going to give you a tour of the Toyota RAV4 4-cylinder automatic 8-speed um, with an engine of 203 horsepower that rotates, the motor rotates at 6060 um, tour minutes, that's fast. Uh, the car has a rear camera and uh, when you get it, they give you some mats so you don't have to buy any. It's there, I need to tell you there are like div, different version of this car. So this one here is pretty big, okay? But you can also have the RAV4. This model is the LE all-wheel drive, but you can have the exact same thing tinier, okay? so. Toyota has been playing around a lot with the RAV4. There are so many versions of it. Just this one here, the 2021 uh, edition, there are six of them. So you can have the front wheel drive, the LE, all wheel drive, then you have the Trail, you have the XLE, all wheel drive, you have XL, you have XL. XL front wheel drive, you have uh, yeah, hybrid, you have, uh, I said the off-road. So it's basically the exact same thing that they keep adding uh, little things in it, you know. So basically the engine is the exact same, guys. All of them, whether it's the, the trail model or uh, the, the, the front wheel drive, the limited edition they are all the same guys they have the exact same engine so don't don't think that uh what you're going to be paying more it's for uh, it's for features such as you can uh charge your phone on a wireless uh um charger you have a push button start you know so all right um as you can see, I think it is nice that uh, you don't have to buy any mat. And uh, if you look at them, that's pretty easy because you can actually see where this thing is going. They, are, they shape for exactly where they're, they're supposed to be going. So this is the front, the driver side. You can see it. So this is giving you free room for your foot to like hit the gas pedal or the brake. This would be like the passenger side and uh, this here would be like for the back seat. These two, yeah. I think these two would be for the back seat. Back in the days, uh, some uh, RAV4 used to have um, a spare tire uh, hooked up to the back and some people would have it stolen and uh, and you know uh, it was risky so now what Toyota did okay hold on let's just I'm gonna pause this guys hold on as you guys can see I already fixed the carpet and the car and they were like uh, rather easy to figure out so this big one here I knew it was meant for the passenger side and uh, that one there, remember guys, that one with that uh, uh, side, that flip on the side, yeah, so it, it's really for uh, the, the driver's side. So this one here, you see those clip, I think those clip are going to go underneath that one there, so I'm going to pause and do it. So, all right, got oops. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, um, the RAV4 can be considered not really a luxury car, but uh, <clears throat> it is a Toyota. They give you uh, like four caps for your tires, and then <clears throat> they give you extra in case that you lose that you loses them. Then you have like four extra. Okay, so. That's why I'm, I'm saying, you know, it's not a luxury car, but it's semi luxury because they really like get you all set, all set up. <clears throat> and 
and uh, the good thing uh, when you have like a wheel cap like this you have to uh, use tie wrap to tie them up just to you know uh, this way you don't lose them and when it's like winter or when you have to change your tires or put new tires then you just cut them off and put new ones they are very uh, cheap for two dollars you get a bag of uh, straps which you can just I mean tie wrap which you can use and they're like practical okay so instead of getting a tire hanging in the back of your car now Toyota have moved the spare tire down here okay so that's your spare tire with lots of room your jack uh, so what is this okay uh, okay there's like other things here as well uh, I'm guessing look you can really move this so this makes more sense you don't have to worry that someone is gonna steal your spare tire it's you know you have your jack and probably the yeah you see this bag here you can hear it so that's probably the crank that you would use to use the jack so that's that's cool and when you pull it hold on so let's pull this up like this bingo you see yeah not bad so you do have plenty of room in the back to put your groceries you can fold these sit like this okay if you want to put something in there you know so I would like move the car forward the front seat I'm gonna move it as far as I can let me unlock the doors okay thank you so you can actually move the sit forward like this let me just sit and do it all right yeah so you see when you move the seat forward this is how much room that you have to uh, you can put a bicycle or whatever that's good that's uh, fairly good enough room to put anything in here so that's good I'm not going to do both I did one so you guys can see there's room for five people but uh, upon your size if you below 200 pounds maybe there's room for even seven people you know but Toyota stated for like five adults can fit in in there but you know if you overweight or you less than 200 pounds then I'm guessing more people easily would fit in that car okay so I'm gonna close it so a quick look at the back seat you have a, a speaker at the bottom okay so uh, there's plenty of leg leg room for someone who's six foot plus and down there you have uh, an outlet uh, you can plug your phone whatever and there's another one in the front okay so you have two so this way two people can charge their phone or whatever both at the same time that's pretty cool the mat here was designed to like click and and to each other so it's like all in one you know it's like a shirt that you put on it fits perfectly so and winter if you don't want to like waste your your car you're gonna want you're gonna love having those uh, mats there What's this? okay all right so that's the back of the car plenty of room you got a uh, ceiling light here you have one in the front so let's go see uh, the engine 
Okay guys, that's the engine of the RAV4. The RAV4 is a four-cylinder automatic, eight-speed automatic. And to open it up, you just press this. You know, once you release it from inside, then you just press this to, on, to pop the hood. Uh, you have your fuel brakes and your battery or to check your oil you know it's pretty much the same stuff guys you know windshield washer that's your windshield washer that's your uh, um, cooling and uh, Toyota suggests that we use um, 87 octane uh, gas if you want to use the 91 but they strongly uh, suggest that uh, we use uh, uh, Octane 87. It's the cheapest one, but it seems that the car works fine on that. So I'm guessing when your car gets like around six years old, you know, after six years, if you can start using the top, the top Octane gas, but in the beginning, you know, you don't want to do too much and then you burn the, the engine or something happens. So I suggest you follow the instruction and just put regular 87 octane gas. So that's what's holding the, the hood. Okay, you just pop it. It goes in here like this, like this. Hold on, here like this like this like yeah hold on yeah oh, okay I have to bingo it when it clicks and that's it guys that's the hood with minimum effort so let's go see what's inside okay let's start the car Okay, um, yeah, hold on, let's stop the car. That's what your key looks like. It's like a jackknife. If you press this, the, the key pops out, and if you press this back, and you can fold the, the key. So, you know, it's simple. You have... Uh, you have your lock unlock. You hit this and the jackknife, your key comes out. And this one here doesn't really come with the car. If you pay, then you can start your car or lock your car, harm your car from anti-theft. So with this thing here, the top one would, would harm would arm the car so that no one can live with it unless they have this key that doesn't who, who doesn't come with your car you have to pay toyota to install it it doesn't have to be a toyota absolutely you can go anywhere else they have them it's very popular people know about them they know how to install them well and uh, some goes up to one kilometer distance you can start the car from one kilometer but with this one here you can start your car from 800 uh, from 800 meter which is okay so top one it's to arm the car uh, and lock your doors second one it's to unlock and third one it's to start the car from 800 feet 800 meters and um, this one here the one at the bottom some cars have it and some doesn't it's to pop the back trunk you know uh, the RAV4 now 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 it is mostly on gadgets that you're gonna end up paying 50,000 because because of the gadgets Toyota have like so many different uh, this one here is key ignition okay 
but you have Toyota with button start ignition so it's your choice this RAV4 here is LE all-wheel drive uh, who needs a car like that with all-wheel drive why would someone get a all-wheel drive what kind of SUV should you get Toyota are reliable I've had Toyotas like 15 years never the only time I go to the garage was to make an oil change or uh, or change the front disc or rotate them okay so the engine is reliable no problem okay it's the most trusted car I w I'm gonna go top three in the world okay so uh, why would someone go and get an all-wheel drive SUV number one if you're living in a country where there's harsh and long winter you would you are gonna be happy that you have an all-wheel drive that can deal with the snow with ice when it's slippery okay if you are where you're living there are steep hills uh, rock and dirt um, that's the car for you if you are living in the sunshine state you don't need an all-wheel drive because the, the the thing is if you get an all-wheel drive suv you're gonna pay for it you're gonna pay extra you know and if you don't need it then it's pointless for you to spend like six thousand more dollars for something that you don't need the front wheel drive gets the job done if you're living in the sunshine state if you're living in a tropical country you know or ever what i what i would say is that if you are living in a country where the roads are not paved then yeah you know when it rains it's going to turn into mud then yeah you're going to need a uh, this car you know if you get no uh toyota you are not wrong at all you know you have a good car for until you change car okay my last Toyota was like I have I kept it for 15 years headache free okay so that's all reliable Toyota are okay so what you have and the RAV4 2021 there are no CD players there are no physical radios there are no DVD players you have that 7 inch LCD screen you have the choice you can use the buttons to set things up or you can touch the screen okay to use your lcd screen you can uh, register your phone you can use the gps um, you can plug a uh, um, usb in it uh, you can use that USB port down there and plug your phone or just the USB drive down there. You see? And on the left is an outlet for 12 volt. You can charge your, your uh, phone or you can plug your camera. Uh, some Toyota, they have uh, wireless... Um, charger but it's gonna cost you it's not free okay so upon how much time you're gonna be spending in your car and all of that that's really up to you you know the Toyota the RAV4 is heavy computer assisted however some of the stuff you have to push button yourself all Toyota comes with AC okay this is your own button it's not automatic you have to like you turn it on if you want AC then you're gonna press AC IAC if you go right this is heat if you go left like this you're going to cold hot and cold okay and I'm gonna turn it off thank you all right so you have different ways to you can preset you can seek 
for automatic um, radio uh, station. You can store your favorite radio station there. You can voice comment. Once your phone is registered, once you registered your phone, okay, so it's, uh, wait, audio, audio there. If you press south, then you have, you can choose uh, USB, FM, Bluetooth, you know. So upon what you are doing, you can operate, you can type in a location uh, on your phone. And when your phone is hooked up, registered to the LCD screen, you what what you would see on your phone is going to display here so instead of looking at your phone and 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 driving uh, not safely and taking risk you can have both of your hands under steering driving and you can see what's going on there so this is a major uh, upgrade in and uh toyota cars because Everything revolves around that LCD screen. Uh, you can, um, Toyota does have uh, Cyrus uh, satellite monitored um, uh, system. You can uh, get a membership. You pay for certain road assistance and stuff like that. It, it, it is not free, guys. So you can pay and hook up to Toyota Cyrus um, satellite system. And they have other stuff that they can hook you up uh, uh, for a certain amount of money. But my phone gets, I have so many things. There are so many things I can do with my phone. So I don't need no Cyrus uh, uh, enrollment, you know, uh, you can pay and have Toyota track down your car. Anyone stupid enough to steal your car, Toyota is going to track them down and send the police exactly where the car is at. So I hope those who are stealing now are smart. Any new cars, it's just like a phone. They are able to locate exactly where the car is. Where, where, you know, where you took the car, or where the car is, uh, just like your your phone. When you lose your phone, you can track down and see where where the guy where it's at. You know, so it's pointless stealing someone's car. Okay, so um, something I really like about Toyota. You see, now when you have a full tank or whatever gas that you have in your tank, Toyota is giving you a visual and it's also giving you digits. You, you have a full tank. Anyways, you have enough gas to go for 426 kilometers. So there's no surprises. There's no nothing down at the bottom. It's the odometer. It's got 104 kilometers. It's telling you the temperature outside, the time. Uh, so there are no surprises. You see exactly how much uh, fuel is left, how much kilometers that you have to do. So I find that extraordinary. And Toyota also have the exact same thing there on your LCD screen. To your right, what you are looking now is your gas tank. It's telling you that you have a range of 426 kilometers. That is the exact same thing here. That's what you are seeing. Toyota is giving you both so if your LCD screen would have a problem, doesn't work anymore or whatever, whatever, or you don't want to turn it on or stuff like that, then you have it there on your dashboard. You can see it. So there, you have two ways. Those are empty slots where you can uh, actually uh, re uh, save a uh, station. 
so it, it's fun you can turn it off dun, dun, dun. this is your power bingo your tracks your phone you know to register your phone what you would do you just press phone okay continue okay there are no phone connected no nothing because but if you would want to um, register your phone then you would just press this one here bingo okay and it's asking you well as you can see there are already two phone registered and that and the computer so it's just to show you and if you would want to add more you just press add one more you know so we're not gonna add one more and i have to remove some so okay that car was big because i deal with harsh long winter if i am living in the sun uh, sunshine state if i'm living in california i don't need no front heated seat you have two one here one here if you want to turn it on you just press up and it's on you go middle you press down and it's low it's, and it, it, it it's on so someone living in a tropical country would not pay extra money like i did to get front heated seat because you don't need it but where i live it's mostly cold so it's fun you have that you have hair bags for both of us okay um like like i was saying guys you know uh or high tech or heavy computers supported um this car is but some of the uh, stuff you have to push them so if you're on a like icy road you would push this one here but now 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 i don't need it and what is this this here guys the best way i can describe that would be um this pauses your engine what are you talking about that button here if you turn it on or off okay that button here pauses your car so if i am driving when i get to a traffic light if i don't press hard enough the computer is going to tell me you see that a that's the a that we just pressed now it's off <laughs> okay so that's the a so what that a does to make a long story short it's to save you fuel gas consumption so when you add a light you press brake you press on brake and if you don't press hard enough the computer will tell you please press harder when you press the computer will pause your engine just to save you gas this car is very very high tech you have the glove box that's the glove box and there I have a couple of coins for the meter uh, some wire for the telephone I can actually the I can actually with this cord plug in the um, the USB down there okay so you have so many choices you can you can either plug your phone through USB or Bluetooth that's so many choices that you have more storage it's this thing here you push like this and it's open it's got plenty of room I got some mask and there a camera more stuff so you know it's got plenty plenty of room so I keep some of my electronics in there because uh, if I'm going on a trip or anything my camera is ready to you know like uh, um, shoot okay 
um, and the steering there, you have uh, some stuff. This is to set your cruise control. So when you reach the speed at which you feel comfortable or it's the city speed limit, then you press set. So all of you have seen a cruise control button before. So, you know, <clears throat> you guys un understand. Okay. And um, this is voice command. So once your phone is hooked up, you know, you would press voice command. There's no phone hooked up now, but you would press voice command. And what, why Toyota did this? It's because Toyota doesn't want you to start playing with your phone and then you have your, your partner or your kids with you and the car and then you you fooling around with your phone and then you're driving so you voice comment you would said uh, call gary you know you would press voice voice comment and it's gonna like go go on and then you you give him the uh, um, radio fm so the voice comment would switch to radio fm and then then you would tell them, uh, go to this, uh, call, text that person, you know. So that's a voice command. There you can make phone call. Like I said, they don't want you to start like using your hands. So they, Toyota wants you to have both of your hands on the steering. So if you would want to make a um, uh, phone call, you would press this one here. Yeah, sorry guys, this is voice comment. Sorry, I got the wrong one. Yeah, this is voice comment right here. FM radio. Which FM frequency do you want? 98.5. 98.5 FM. Okay, so you, you guys see, that's how it works. So sorry, I got the wrong one. So that's voice over. So they're doing this. So you, so you don't be using your, your phone and, and driving at the same time and crash. Okay. And you have the regulars here. Turn on your lights like this. You turn on, turn off. Your wipers. Okay. You have your wipers you can set it on automatics which means soon as water hits the windshield your wiper goes off by themselves so there's all kinds of things options and things that um, that are available with with the RAV4 okay your mirrors plus and minus your volumes now look to my left that's where you you fix your mirrors so you see if i would press down like this you see it's up now i can operate the driver's side mirror look i can move it you see go down up you see yeah all right so that's that's for the left mirror if any let me bring down the e4 car is closing in you see this little thing here it would start flashing to tell me that there's a car closing in okay so uh if i want to set the other mirror i just now it's neutral it's on neutral you see it and then all i do is press down and i can you see go down go up I'm comfortable there so I'm gonna leave it yeah so you see and all you got to do is just push it back okay on the passenger side I'm if you have someone they want to fix themselves you go in at a party or something or before work when they bring this down when they flip it open like this, look what happened. 
they get light they can see what they're doing so this is a semi-luxury car okay if you take it cash it's thirty six thousand dollars if you take it on credit expect to pay the car twice maybe twice and a half upon how much the interest rate is if it's five or whatever you know upon your country upon your currency you might end up paying the car three times okay so i will leave that to you and when you close it so is the light the light is gone you can choose to if you're looking for something you don't want like to be bothering uh, the passenger so you can actually click here and then i have light on my side only not like uh, all over the place and same thing if if someone on the passenger side is reading so they have light for themselves up here that's where you store your glasses one pair so what is the better way not to forget your glasses you put them in here and then you close it you can never forget them because ah oh, it's very sunny you can't see you just open this up get them put them back so this is very convenient the car has sensors both uh front both side of the front if you are going there are sensors and the back also if you are backing up when you select backward that's what you get you get this computer telling you or close that you are to the car park uh, behind you so until the car is still like hit with the yellow lines you are safe don't get too close when it gets to the red line so i suggest you practice with your friend or your partner you know like you you practice they make sure that you get it right you said okay i'm gonna back up is it okay is it not okay so you know you just back up and and, and practice okay so this is very um a sophisticated a sophisticated car and look they are telling you check your surrounding for safety you know so this close you have maybe three feet still available to continue backing up okay so you might need some practice to get this right i suggest you continue using your head and turning your le your head left and right you can't go wrong all right so that's for the <clears throat> backward we're gonna push it back uh, uh you have your lights your signal you know uh, the horn <laughs> that's cute <laughs> yeah so uh you can lock your car you know from here you can lock the windows bring windows up down you have control over all four windows um, the passenger side have control to lock unlock and bring down her or his own window okay at the back same thing they have control over their own window except for the driver the driver does have um control o o over the the four windows so um your car this car here <clears throat> all the toyotas they all have the same engine which is a 203 horsepower the length the width of the car is pretty much the same they pretty much all have the same leg room and height uh, it's pretty much the same car it's for the things some have extra uh, air con vent uh, at the back and uh, you have some other electronics and, and, and gadgets that you can add to your car and make it more expensive okay 
Um, this is your Toyota. You have Echo, Normal, Sports. My car is set on Echo, okay? So Echo, you are guaranteed that this thing will save you fuel, okay? It will save you fuel. So I have it on Echo. Echo is for when it's also when it's snowing. Echo is perfect for you. However, this car, if you choose Sport, Sport it's for war, uh, rock and dirt. Normal, it's for mud and sand. So that car, it's like overall ready for whatever that you want to throw at it. But they do have the trail mode, the, the trail edition, which is a bit uh, stronger, a bit rougher, that's made to carry a uh, bicycle and stuff. You can pull up to 1,500 uh, 1, pounds with this car. So before you attach a trailer, anything to your, to your car, your Toyota, make sure you know how much can my car pull. So this Toyota here can pull up to 1,500 pounds uh, weight. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. And when you turn it off, it tells you how much fuel you spent, how far you went, how many kilometers, how long it took, you know. So the car is heavy computer assisted, you know. Um, you must have an anti-theft when you have a, a, a Toyota. It's any car, you know, unless it's a third-end car. You must have an anti-theft and uh, anyone who's crazy enough to... If they don't have your keys, if you have an anti-theft, there's no way they can live with it unless they come with a chopper and the chopper lift it up and, and go with it. Or they come with a towing. That's, that's the only way, guys. So down there, guys, you have uh, a dimmer, you know. You have a defrost light. So the dimmer mostly is to um, diminish or or give you more light on your dashboard. That's what the, the dimmer does. You know, uh, the car is, you know, that's, that's a good solid car for the family, you, you know. You can go camping, you you know, that's that's a big car. If you don't want, you can get one that is exactly the same, does the exact same thing, except it is smaller. People who are alone don't have to get this car. They can get uh, an XLE, an LE that are tinier than this big car here.